get ready for the ultimate birthday surprise. In this upcoming video, we're celebrating a very special day in style. The RP2350 and Pico 2 are reaching their first birthday. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico 2, robotics, IoT, and all things Remexable tech. What do you want for your first birthday? Well, a new version with those bugs fixed. Yes, the A4 stepping is announced. Stay tuned for all of, all of the detail and join me on the celebration. If this video sparks ideas or helps your projects, hit that like button, subscribe and join the community. And if you want to support the channel, drop me a super thanks or use the link in the description. It keeps the lights on and the videos flowing. Last August, we were treated to the launch of the RP2350 and the Pico 2. That's nearly a year. And um, in that time, we've sold, or Raspberry Pi have sold, half a million Pico 2 and Pico 2 W boards. And that doesn't even include all the count of all of the other RP2350 chips uh, embedded in other products and other types of boards, like those WaveShare displays I keep reviewing and using on the channel. But remember the bug though, that infamous pull down internal resistor issue. Well, that really, you know, that took a lot of the wind out of the sails and made a lot of us sort of turn away a little bit from this chip. Plus, of course, there were some minor security issues, though, to be honest, you had to actually get your hands on the chip and um, I, for one, wouldn't be able to actually replicate any of those attacks. So what we've got today uh, as announced is a new A4 stepping, which will soon be directly available for the Pico 2 and Pico 2W, and as on, I suspect, are lots of the other boards. So what is an A4 stepping? Well, this is a new cut of the chip and a new manufacturing cycle. So this new version actually fixes that pull down GPIO issue. So that's gone. So there are no more excuses for using the processor. And it also fixes most of the security vulnerabilities. Um, though, as I said, they're really hard to reproduce and you really got to get your hands actually on the chip and actually be able to start jiggling around with the power to, in order to exhibit it. There is one of the security vulnerabilities they haven't fixed, which is around passage voltage contrast vulnerability on the OTP. Um, that remains, but again, you know, it is such a remote attack, it will be very difficult to do. A4 comes with one other gift for us, and uh, thank you very much Raspberry Pi, and that's official five volt tolerance on all GPIO pins. Now, back in the old days on uh, the Pico, I could probably get away with five volt tolerance on most of the pins, apart from the um, AD, the analog to digital control pins. Uh, they were really quite sensitive, but everything else, we could probably get away with five volts most of the time. I did risk shortening the life of my Pico, but that all goes away now with the Pico 2. If you read the full specs now, you'll find that actually Provided you've got a uh, proper five volt uh, supply going into the chip, then actually it is five volt tolerant. And that should make integrating it with some of the other components much easier and a much better place for us to be. Now, last summer when we got the Pico 2 out, it was actually what's called the A2 stepping. Um, the A2 version, presumably A1 was pre-release. Um, so we now got the A4. So what happened to A3? Well, A3 was a largely internal release and about them actually validating that they've really fixed all the issues. Um, and obviously they've made some improvements from A3 to A4. Are we gonna see A3s in the market? Well, not on anyone else's board or in fact being able to buy them as chips, but 300,000 of these are apparently going to be in the market on Pico 2s and Pico 2Ws. That does make me wonder if these are almost going to become collector's items as uh, in short supply, get your Pico with the A3. Uh, very few of them were actually produced. Who knows? If you get an A3 um, 
a stepping Pico 2 or Pico 2W, do let me know. I'd be really interested to see how many of those actually appear in the market. So you're not using RP2350s in your projects? Well, what is your excuse now? We've got availability, price, and now a clean processor with those bugs fixed. So let's get designing. If this video sparks ideas or helps your projects, hit that like button, subscribe and join the community. And if you want to support the channel, drop me a super thanks or use that tips link in the description. It helps me keep the lights on and keep going. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.